Welcome to Math Guru Inc. And remember guys to like, share and subscribe. Now today we're going to continue to look at some typical PEP questions as it relates to sequence. Question number six says, the shapes below can best be described by which of the following pattern? Now as good geometry students, we know we are looking at polygons. So let us count the sides. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we know that any amount of sides there are, they have similar amount of angles. So therefore, this has three angles, four angles, five angles, six angles. That much we know about those polygons. So now let us eliminate to find our answer. Each shape has one angle fewer than the shape before it. The term fewer would make this statement incorrect. So A is out. Each shape has a longer side than the shape before it. We don't know the length of each side, so that is out. Each shape has the same number of angles as the shape, shape before it. That is also incorrect because they all have different um, number of angles and different number of sides. So that's out. So the only one we have left is D. Each shape has one more side than the shape before it. So one more, this is three, one more is four. One more than four is five. One more than five is six. All right, so our answer is D. Mark made up a pattern. One, four, 10, 22, 46. What role did Matt, Matt's pattern follow? Now guys, again, let us find our first difference. So 4 minus 1 give us 3. 10 minus 4 give us 6. 22 minus 10 give us 12. And uh, 46 minus 22 give us 24. So therefore, our common difference is double. Double 3 we get 6. Double 6 we get 12. Double 12 we get 24. So we know that something is double. So let us double 1. So 2 times 1 equal 2. But what we want is 4. So what we need to do is add 2 to 2. We get 4. Now when we double 4, we get 8. But what we want is 10. So what we need to do is add 2 more. Therefore, let us find one of the options that explain this rule. So add 3 to the number each time. No. Double the number each time. No. Multiply the number by 2 and then add 2 each time. Therefore, our answer is C. When a number is put into the machine below, a different number comes out. If a 2 goes in, a 6 comes out. If a 4 goes in, a 12 comes out. If a 5 goes in, a 15 comes out. So basically we put 8 in here, what will come out at that side? So if an 8 goes in, what number should come out? Alright, so we going down to 8. So let us... Of our chart here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, and it says if a 2 goes in, 6 comes out. It didn't say anything about 3. But it says if a 4 goes in, 12 comes out. So right here, we realize that 9 is missing. If a 5 goes in, 15 
comes out. So on this side, it's going up by 1. And on this side, it is going up by 3. So we know the next number would be 15 plus 3, 18. 18 plus 3, 21. 21 plus 3 gives us 24. Therefore, our answer would be 24. When an 8 goes in, 24 comes out. Which of the following rule would be used to describe the order of pairs in this series? So, 4, 2. So, let's do a common ratio. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. 10 divided by 5 gives us Two. So therefore, we realize that the second digit or the second number is half of the first. So let us find one of the options that really describe that. The second number is equal to half of the first number. So A gives us the answer right away. So if the first number is 20 the second number must be 10 because the second number is equal to half of the first or right, if we want to name the second number first so if the second number is 40 then the first number must be 80 because the second number is half of the first all right last question Danny and Julie have a new sticker book. Danny will put four stickers in book in his book every day, and Julie will put six stickers in her book every day. All right, so let's go D for Danny and J for Julie. So let us write down Danny's numbers: four, eight, twelve, and we realize that it is increasing by four. So it could go on 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. For Julie, 6, 12, 18. And when we do our first difference, 12 minus 6 leaves 6, 18 minus 12 leaves 6, so we realize that it is increasing by 6. So 18 plus 6 will give us 24, 24 plus 6 will give us 30, 36, 42, 48, and it could go on and on. And the question now says, how many stickers will Danny have when Julie have 30? So we look carefully, 30 there for Julie. So Danny will have 20 stickers. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. And remember guys, the joy of math is hidden in the answer.